Hi everyone! In this video, we are going to simplify a complex fraction. A complex fraction is just a fancy way of saying that I have fractions inside of a fraction or multiple division signs going on. So here I have the fraction 926 and I'm dividing it by the fraction negative 14 over 13k. Let's go ahead and rewrite this so it looks a little bit more friendly. We're going to do 9 over 26, and this is divided by the fraction negative 14 over 13k. Now remember, we never divide fractions. We actually multiply by the reciprocal, and the reciprocal is always, always the second fraction. Don't touch the first one. So we're going to keep the 9, 26, and then we're going to multiply by the reciprocal of negative 14 over 13k is going to be the 13k on top and the 14 on the bottom. Now the negative sign can follow the 14, it can actually go on the top, or it can go out front, whichever works for you, as long as I remember that the second fraction is negative. Now whenever I multiply fractions, I multiply the numerator times the numerator and the denominator times the denominator. However, before I do any multiplying, I like to simplify beforehand because then it gives me smaller numbers and that's easier to work with. So I check all of the numerators with all of the denominators and see if there's anything that can divide a numerator and a denominator or a numerator and a denominator and it doesn't matter. It can be on either of the numerators and either of the, the denominators. So here I have a nine and I don't see anything that will go into either 26 or 14. So I'm going to come over to the 13 and look at 13. Oh, 13 and 26 are both divisible by 13. 13 divided by 13 is 1. 26 divided by 13 is 2. Now, I don't see anything else that can simplify because 9 is odd, and 14 and 2 are both even, and... 14 does have a factor of 7, but that's not 9. So I'm done. That leaves me 9 times 1, which gives me 9. And don't forget the K. And I have that negative out front. Then I'm going to multiply the uh, denominators. What's left is 2 times 14, which is 28. And so my answer is negative 9K over 28. And if we've simplified all of the numbers before we multiply, then this fraction at the end is already in its simplest, simplest form. And that is the answer.